All right, in this problem, what is the, they're asking for the change in height if an object, half kilogram object, is lost 20 joules of GPE. Hey, let's make a prediction. Which way would it move, up or down? If it's losing GPE, its height must be going down. That's right. What is the change in height? So we're probably going to end up with a, uh, we'd end up with a negative value, but we'll solve for the absolute change in height. It's just going to tell us how far it moved. We would know it's down if it's losing GPA. So we'll take track, take inventory, make him keep track of what we know. It says that what is the change in height? So change in height will be the unknown of a one half kilogram object which has lost 20 joules of GPA. So we can write what is the change in height what is delta H of a mass, one half kg, that is lost 20 joules of GPE. I'll just rewrite. So we know that it changes GPE, it's losing, and the change in GPE is equivalent to its mass times gravity times the change in height. So we want to isolate delta H, we want to get that by itself. Delta H is multiplied by M and G, or MG, if you will. So the opposite of multiplying by MG is dividing by MG. M will cancel M. And I'm going to rewrite Delta H is change in GPE divided by M times G, or MG. So rewrite once again. Now we'll sub in numbers. The change in GPE is 20 joules. And by the way, that would be negative. Uh, the mass is one half of a kg times what G is, 9.8 meters per second squared. Now we can approximate it. 1 half times 9.8 or 1 half of 9.8 is 5. So the, the entire new denominator is going to be 5. 20 divided by 5 is going to be about 4. So we're not far from 4 for the answer. Let's reveal it. But or before we do that, let's take a moment. Rather than worrying about what the computation is, let's show that the units work out to be uh, meters or delta H. So the units for joules are kilograms, meters squared per second squared. So that is that un these units, kilograms meter squared per second squared are joules, divided by kilograms. Again, divided by what acceleration is, meters per second squared. So we're going to have some nice cancellation here. Kilograms will cancel kilograms. Second squared will cancel second squared. Now only one of the meters gets canceled up top and the other one cancels in the bottom. So the only thing that survives are meters. So it works out dimensionally. Now we can reveal the answer. We said again 20 divided by 1 half times 9.8. 1 half times 9.8 is 5. 20 divided by 5 is about 4. So the answer is going to be close to that. 4.08 meters. Very nice.